Now explain how the Jive Records situation came and went. Um, I was dealing with Tanyala Martinez, that's a, a songwriter, and Tone, he, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> he found me on um, MySpace. MySpace, that was years ago, man, and uh, he found me on MySpace and he connected with me. We linked through a, a mutual friend, and he was like, man, I need you to get to Cali, man. Let's make some records. First, before I get, get you to Cali, I'm going to um, send you to Michigan and see how you are. And if you dope, we're going to get you to Cali. And I went to Michigan. I showed my ass. I'm talking about every night. I was in the studio going crazy. And he like he, he on the phone with the people from Jive. Like, look, I got him. I got the next big thing. He's 17 years old. He this, he that, he this, he that. And um, when they heard me over there, it was like, let's get him. Come on. And then when they got me, so much was going on over at Jive that they didn't even have time for tone the guy who they was giving the distribution for, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, they didn't even have time for him. So I'm basically sitting, I'm waiting. Uh, I want to know what's, what's going to happen. He basically sitting, he waiting, but we making good music. We making dope music. We collaborating with people. We rocking out with people, writing for people. But it just never clicked, you know what I'm saying? And when the deal was up, the deal was up. And it was over, it was over. And I've just been grinding ever since then to get where I'm at now. So. Shout out to Jive, man. Y'all kept me going.